Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Wasteland, where last time we went out to the west and raided the Ohm Depot factory and got a whole bunch of electronic magazines out of it. And just looking at the storage here, it does look as though we have almost all the parts we're going to need to build our own Utilitron robot in the future. We just need an extra arm, leg, and a torso. But the attention today is going to turn to the Horde base. We have been making a whole bunch of materials. I have 343 concrete cubes and 43 cobblestone cubes, and we got a lot of work to do around here. The Horde is bearing down on us, so everything in here should be working. I did get the diamond last night. I got one diamond out of all the mining that I did, and I just decided to make the laser rifle there and I'll get a steel cabinet after that to fill in the last spot there and otherwise I think everything that can be rolling is rolling well not quite let's um let's get a little bit of this rolling too there we go and with that extra mix there we should be ship shaped to get this whole half over here built up Man, it's gonna be a hell of a project though, so let's just get right to it. I'd say step one is gonna be working on the pit down here. We'll start in the pit and we'll work our way up. Luckily, we've already done the heavy lifting around here in digging this place out. We just need to, I'm gonna replace basically the, the bottom area here with concrete, like the zombie head height area. And I'll probably work in some of the cobblestone after that in some of the less important areas. And I'm just making sure we copy the same convention we had on the other side. Same size and same stability stuff. Now we just need to get the zombies a way to get out of here. So a simple three wide staircase to the top will do. And of course we gotta try to flush this up with everything else. So a little bit of demo work to do. We're getting into some uneven terrain here. So I gotta spend some time kind of leveling things off a little bit. And then start laying in the foundation for the ramp. And then after taking some careful measurements to make sure I'm doing this symmetrically, we've got to run the ramp up first on the, I guess I'll call this the left side, and then exact same procedure over here on the right side, although this time probably a little faster because I know what I'm doing now. And now that the ramps are complete, we're moving over to the security gate centered diagonal. You advanced rotate it so that it looks like a ramp shape and I'm gonna run like a whole set of those up on both sides. I don't know why I do this. It's like, um, it's like a blood drainage system. <laughs> it just, you know, so the, the ramp doesn't get too slippery. The blood kind of runs down through the grates here. Although someone described it to me, there's a difference between a the security gate and the security grate. If you think about it, the grate is like a cheese grater. There are angled blades to kind of, you know, shred something off. And the gate is more just, um, it's more like a bar. They're just vertical slats, basically. But that's how I remember it anyway. And while we're over here, we might as well just start stringing over the the causeway, the, the pole system, just literal like centered poles, <laughs> pole side centered, strung straight over to the fighting position. However, I will leave the back two, the final two pieces empty so that this side is not functional unless during Horde Night we complete the sort of chain and actually like complete the system. We'll, we'll be able to see that more closely once I'm done. And since I'm right here, it might be, it's kind of dark over here. It's tricky to see, but I am gonna do my best with the shapes I have left to complete the, the shape system that we had on the other side. These sort of protrusions that are protecting <laughs> would-be companions that we don't have. Maybe we'll get lucky someday and find a new companion, or I would like to have a total of four. We have like four battle stations for companions here, and we could take one or two out at a time for raiding. It's just been a lonely place around here. Very quiet. And it's not identical to the other side just yet. We haven't done the V2 triangle plates there on the edge there because I'm running out of materials, but for the most part, we have two full, fully functional fighting positions. Not fully functional, but could be fully functional. Let's take a look from inside. Okay, so here's the thing. I left those last two pole shapes out. Otherwise, oh, everything is mostly good to go here. Let's just get rid of these and we'll put the, the we'll put them a, a block further out there. Okay, there we go. So we should be able to come over here on the side and see that everything is hopefully exactly the same as it is on this side, sands the blade traps. So a possibility on Horde Knight, see the problem is, is we have no way to turn this side off. So if this side were to collapse or blow up or otherwise we lose the poles here, we could then come over here and just take two shapes and go bang, bang, and connect them up, and we'd have flow on this side, you know, in case of an emergency, at least the base wouldn't collapse, but if, like last Horde Night, they break through the bars, 
there's no way to just say, okay, flip a switch and, you know, turn this side off and let's go over here and do the same thing. So, you know, <laughs> we have one contingency plan. If one massive catastrophe happens, we have a solution. If the other massive catastrophe happens, we do not. I'm just gonna remove some of these blocks here. We got a, a different sort of configuration that we're gonna put in here. And what we're gonna roll with is a stair there for the corners. And the reason I'm doing this is because it just, it had some harsh angles that I didn't quite like before. And then we'll take the filler stair piece and put it in here. And things should look a little bit more, you know, it should be a, bit, a little bit better flow in here, you know? You know what I mean. Here we go. This looks a lot nicer in here. It's, um, just to remind you, this is just see here so that, um, especially on this side, so that I can get angles to kind of see around here. It, it seemed more important than it does right now. I think there was like one Horde Knight where I really wanted to do that, but then we replaced all of these shapes and this kind of has the same function. But I do like having a nice kind of clean bowl to sit in here for Horde Knight. Oh yes, and that reminds me, we gotta take down all of these shapes over here. Hopefully there are no major structural stability problems doing this. Also, we'll remove the lights. Yeah, I shouldn't have much of a problem. I already knocked these columns out from the bottom when I was just doing the the foundation work down there and nothing collapsed then so fingers crossed nothing collapses now we're doing essentially the same thing and there you go should be pretty much identical on this side to the other side let's just get these nope I'm out of mix right I think I'm making some of that though should have a little bit in here at this point yes and yes lots more in there because you definitely need these upgraded and I'll have enough steel we'll do the steel upgrades basically right before the horde and then and for now I'll just do a whole bunch of concrete upgrades until I'm out and I'm also going to spend some time up here because of course we've had some major problems up here in the crafting room and now more than ever we need to protect what we have in here so everything on the rooftop here or the ceiling of the crafting area needs to get upgraded to concrete there now we have a nice little concrete hat for our base here <laughs> there are some spots around here that probably need to be fixed like the floor to this area which is kind of the ceiling to the fighting area and probably same procedure on this side over here eventually i only have like 500 concrete left so i'd like to save some of that okay let's uh take a break from like massive construction projects to take a look at the new well let's compare the stats first on the laser rifle this is a mag size of 10. well essentially the damage is about half on the laser rifle but the rate of fire is like four times higher so ooh, okay so it looks like the rate the laser pistol only slightly larger oh yeah let's give that a quick reload there and Okay, that shoots a lot faster. That's like that's like a sniper rifle rate of fire right there. So the fact that it's doing a little bit less damage, not not particularly concerning for me. So I guess we can finally ditch the old lever action rifle. It's served us remarkably well. And the 44 Magnum, which I was kind of running out of anyway. Okay, so we've got uh, microfusion cells, which also means that these we can use the max charge microfusion cells and the... Wait, these are plasma microfusion cells. What's the difference? Goes to the plasma rifle? Sure. <laughs> okay, there's there's just a lot of ammo types to kind of wrap my head around here. But yeah, we're rolling with regular old microfusion cells, I guess. And what about the mod situation on this? Level two, we get two mods and we cannot do the suppressor or the scope, which is odd. We can do a bipod and some dye, which makes it look a little cooler. We have a whole cabinet of mods over here though just give me all those i'll find one that works okay rad remover oh reflex sight that might be kind of what we need there yeah that looks pretty cool maybe i'll take the bipod off and slap on the rad remover at least just for horde knight i gave it a green die now that looks pretty cool i do like that okay yep lights just came on and that's my cue because one of the things i need to work on for sure is lighting we need to fix the lights down here so that we can see inside the horde base. We also need spotlights for outside. I'm gonna move, well, I think I've already moved a couple of them, but I'm definitely going to move these ones to the outside of the base. Oh, look, the muty meatloaf is ready. What is this gonna do anyway? Food 15, health negative five. Are you joking? That took like eight minutes to craft. I thought that was gonna be like shepherd's pie or, you know, some awesome, food you know well I guess um, 
We'll toast to my mistake in crafting that, and we'll suffer the five damage just to get away from it. Actually, that didn't do any damage to me. Interesting. I guess I got an iron stomach, too. Well, geez, rinse that down with a snowberry smoothie or something to get the aftertaste out of my mouth. New storage cabinet there. That was a long time coming. We were just so short on the steel. I can't believe I... I what did I use? Like... 120 steel to get these cabinets in <laughs> before the horde night we could have definitely used all that steel during one of the horde nights the last horde night we had there one two three and whoops oh that's not gonna work is it <laughs> i need like an off-centered light option all of the lights are centered and that's annoying because I'd, I'd really like to put a light right on top of this tell you what i'll sort something out currently i'm testing putting them on the a-frame we'll see if that gives us good illumination in here and um we'll pick things up when i get it all figured out probably first thing tomorrow morning all right whoops yeah it's far whoa okay what's going on here it is not morning yet but i think we're under attack from some mutants so we've got to get out of here and see what's going on okay where is this tactical assault rifle fire coming from it seems like this direction here is this guy, is it, I can hear a mutant. There he is. What are you doing here and why? Oh, come on now. I'll take that attack assault rifle from you if, if you're not using it there. Ooh, five, five, six. It's a, it's a close second there. Okay, I'm about halfway through. I'm actually, I've done really well on the interior lighting. So we'll just work on the exterior lighting. So what I did is uh, I was testing out some new shapes here. Basically, this is like a half shape right here. So whoops. Oh no. Oh, what did I do? I destroyed the land claim block in the campfire and everything that was in the campfire, which was like six omelets. Oh no. I was being so careful not to do that, but I got excited to kind of show you the new block that we're using. Basically, it's like a half block, but um, it's this one right here. It's a half block, but it's got a little pole coming off of it. And I thought that would be perfect to suspend some lights, but um, ultimately, this has been a little bit of a setback there. I was gonna just have one in the middle, but I decided to do two on the flanks because I had the extra light. And it looks really nice in here. Let's just get rid of everything that casts light from me. And yeah, not bad at all. I wish these lights were stronger, but nothing I can really do about that. Okay, I did want to move the campfire to this corner here anyway. So we'll just call that like, um, um, a happy mistake, I guess. Yeah, we need a new land claim block. I mean, not that we really need it, but there are just some bonuses that you get sometimes. Oh, more more mutants here. Oh, they're um, after the vehicles. I, I heard clinking and clanking. What are you doing on the truck there, buddy? That's Hobie. Hobie the mutant. I disapprove of your antics, Hobie. I got another one running up on me. There's definitely just been a mutant horde here. We are under attack from the mutants. Hobie is dead. Search Hobie here. Hobie got nothing for me. What's new? And uh, this guy here. Synthetic Echo. I do love this rifle. This works great. I love the sound, the feel, the, the rapid rate of fire. Definitely an improvement over the hunting rifle. Although I do wish that I had like a 50 cal that I could just reach out and touch people with because yeah, they're attacking from the behemoth layer over here. And I wish that I could have taken them down at range, but whoop, it's also not exact, exact, really accurate. I mean, it's not terrible here. Take some cover here. Maybe it's just the sight that I'm using is not great. Is there another one? Oh my goodness. They're all over the place. Whoop, reload. Papa Z's here with the, <laughs> that, I don't know what he had. I think he had a pistol, but it looked so small in his hand. Gotta get these guys some desert vultures. Yeah, see that guy way out there. <laughs> I got him, but it's a hell of a shot from here. <laughs> There's like eight shots. I got some sneak damage the first time. He is still alive out there. The, um, despite the fact that this is shooting laser beams, it's um, not traveling at the speed of light. I don't think. It's traveling at the speed of an arrow. Okay, I can't tell if it's clear or not. This heavy rain and fog has rolled in. Uh, yes, all the more reason to get the spotlights ready. Oh man, that is a huge setback though. We lost, um, oh, 
Did we get the land claim block now? Okay, we got the land claim block, but we lost the omelets. There was a stack of water in there and some logs. Of course, we lost the campfire. That's easy to replace, but we also lost the cooking pot and the grill. So we'll have to see if I can make a new one. All right, well, that's an easy enough fix. There's the grill. There's the pot. We're pretty much back to normal. Sands the food that we lost. However, I do think that we're looking good enough on food. We've got pie. We've got scorpion bits. We've got a little bit of... We've got a whole bunch of hound meat. You know what? Is there anything special to be done with this? Grilled hound chops. Okay, well, I guess I could try that. Hound chops. Grilled hound chops. Let's just make them all. There's nothing much else we can do with them, so see if they're any good. And while we're working on spotlights, let's get some more logs for fire purposes here. I think, isn't there... Hmm. I think it was like a compressed wood brick block let's actually let's do an experiment and see which one's better for fire yeah it says right here it, it's a very efficient fuel source so we'll put that to the test compressed block here is gonna add uh something like 15 minutes where it's about eight minutes with the wood log and it's 15 wood to make a compressed wood block and i do believe it's eight to make the log so 10 to make the log so in that case it does appear as though the compressed wood is a little bit more efficient. I'd have to crunch the numbers on it, but my intuition's telling me that, yeah, this is uh, pretty good stuff. We'll make 50 of those. And the hound chops, yeah, 20 food gives 10 health, actually. This is not bad. Good little snack food. We'll take one right now. Why not? Okay, 12 spotlights to set up now. And I know where I want to put them. It's just a matter of getting there because I want to kind of slap them on the side of the base here somehow. Yes. So one of the things I like to do is I like to put my spotlights on face and it, it does require a little bit of finagling and the XMLs. But anyway, the this allows me to kind of just like put them on the outside of structures, which I think is nice and realistic because look, it's got like bolts and stuff on the bottom where you could bolt it down to something and POIs have um, spotlights in this orientation all the time. So uh, the question is, do we want it facing down or out? I think probably right here facing down is a pretty good spot for it. That'll cast some light in this area. And we also want to cast some light over onto the fighting area. So how about another one there? facing down and then once I plug it in I'll kind of move it over almost morning time anyway so another one there here we go facing down just like the others that leaves me with two more on this side where are we putting two more oh you know what we've got this perfect spot right here for spotlights I always like to put spotlights under my ramps here I don't know why it just seems like a nice little tucked in area to put them and then I can grab myself a security gate plate not great the grate is the cheese grater one and like the ventilation duct one and then we'll just kind of seal that in there i might only upgrade this to cobble although honestly if i if i brought it all the way up to concrete wouldn't be too big of a deal oops i'm out of wood because i made all the compressed wood that should fix that problem also get rid of the nasty shadows i should have cut that tree down like two weeks ago all right anyway i was just saying like um at this point, with the Steel Tech Axe and my Minor 69er skill, it's not too much of a big deal to even chop down concrete blocks. If I had to get in there to rewire them, I have to get in there to actually wire them in the first place. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> I'll, I'll finish that project some other time. In fact, just having it kind of tucked behind one like that should keep it nice and protected. All right, let me duplicate the same process on the other side. We'll get everything wired up and see how it all looks. And then we should be ready for Horde Night, pretty much. And there we go, let there be light. In fact, that looks pretty good just by default without even reorienting any of the lights around. Very bright on the bottom of the base. We're not gonna miss any action around here, but the fighting areas there are pretty dark. I could probably fix that though by simply reorienting these ones to be... Yeah, we'll just, you know, I usually try to like pick some sort of a corner or some sort of an angle and aim it at that so that I can do it symmetrically on all sides. And so, yeah, oh yeah, that's way better. Just angling it up like that. We get plenty of light up at the fighting position. We're not missing out on anything around here either. All right, so here it is in all its glory. The base is pretty much done. I mean, we do have some kind of nitpicky work to do, some trim work and definitely painting. But for the most part, this is what it's going to be like functionally for the next couple of Horde Nights.
All right, it is early in the morning, although you could hardly tell. Let's just make sure that everything is good to go for Horde Knight. And right, turn my helmet light back on. Oh, that reminds me. We had the power armor radar thing. What was that called? <laughs> power armor radar. And that should allow me to see enemies in the compass nearby, but it has to be activated. So in my little F menu, we have helmet light activation, and we should have power radar. Let's just activate that, and hopefully that will be working. There are don't appear to be any zombies close enough by for me to use that just yet though. All right, just give me two seconds here to get everything reset and get the forges rolling and all that stuff. And we'll meet up down at the vehicle for a little bit of raiding this morning before Horde. All right, appreciate you waiting for me down here. I just crafted up a whole handful, like 14 repair kits and I'm working on 50 glue upstairs. Let's just take a look inside the vehicle here. Yeah, durability is terrible. We can afford now to get this, uh, I guess, fully repaired. I got. Like I said, I should have like 11 more or something like that rolling in. And then gas is 0%. So <laughs> let's go ahead and refuel that up to 80 some odd percent. And yep, I think we're pretty good to go now. Okay, so on the agenda, on the to do to raid list is definitely the the super duper mart. But that's kind of far away and it could be pretty involved to do that. So we're going to table that one until after the horde. But what could we do in the meantime? Something close by in town here. Hmm, you know, I just took a break here to look at, because I was wondering, you know, what are we even going out for today? Where should we go? But um, first of all, we can craft a level three junk iBot, which is interesting. We might need to look into that. And we can also, I think, it's a little weird here, but I do think we're, we've unlocked the automated vault doors, which could entirely change my plans for today. Wait a minute. It says locked, but it also says electrician 70 out of 70. What do you think is the issue there? I don't know. You know, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go back to the base and just check on that situation because, you know, it, it, maybe we just need to get like one more electrician book and that'll kind of jostle it <laughs> into being functional, into working so that we can actually get the regulation system set up here right on the eve of the horde. That would just be perfect. Right. Okay. It's still saying locked. Yeah. Wire tool required. We've got the wire tool. We can't wait skill. Yeah. Okay. Something's just fishy about all of this. Maybe we just need a few more of the wiring books. Okay. I'm going to go out. We're going to do a, um, a uh, mo power place probably but there was the junk it was the i bought i bought here we go we s should have the parts duct tape yeah lots of duct tape we'll have the duct tape by the time we come back because we made all that glue and then we can get um oh i don't know one of these cool colors of an i bought here yep we'll try that out later on and could i potentially get the what would it be like the drone medic mod no, not yet. And that's really the only one that I would want. Okay, let's set out then to find some electronic magazines. I know just the place to go to get those. So originally I happened upon this Mo Power on our way back from the circumnavigation mission. And I thought to myself, yeah, this, this would be a great place to come back to someday. We can get some trap books and such. And here we are. All right, area seems relatively secure. Let's just take care of pizza here search this sedan i did try to make some of the microfusion cells the ammo for the laser rifle and it requires acid so i'm gonna look and see like how much i get per batch or if it's like one acid per 10 rounds or what the deal is there but we're definitely in the market for whoa 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 is there a mutated monster here yeah we'll get to the bottom of the ammo thing a little bit later what's going on here is this condemned keep out okay this place might be like a hazardous there's more going on here than meets the eye we'll put it that way and where did that vertebrate just come in at ah okay over there that is oh i could see oh ch oh check this out it's working the tracking thing we've got birds flying around over here the little paw prints and we have a little bear over there telling me that there are some enemies nearby does that work for zombies i didn't I didn't quite tell. No, there's a zombie right there. Is he? Yeah, he's on my compass now. Once I get... Okay, so animals are on the map and zombies are on the compass, it seems. And that airdrop is over there in the desert where we were a couple nights ago. We'll probably be back there to get some more fuel at some point. Oh, the horny toad was here. That's right. Okay, there's a couple things to do here. I don't know if we'll have time to get to it all. I've got to figure out 
what's going on with the radiation here. I think probably there's like a ghoul that's lurking in here. Let's go ahead and take my Rad Z though. Hang on. And is that okay? So I took the Rad Z. Am I now taking radiation? Yes. Yeah, and kind of fast. Okay, so I'm going to need to probably also take a first aid kit as I go in here to stir up wh whatever kind of trouble is in here. Ooh, more radiation. Just what I needed. Okay, getting out of here. Whoa, man. There's a lot of cops in there, I think. Yeah, at least two more. That's a feral. There are crawling rads. Okay, this is what we got guns for here. These are the cases. We got the rad remover, actually, on the... Oh man, I can't, I have no running gun. Oh, geez. Yeah, we've got the rad remover on this thing. Whoa, what is going on here? There's so many zombies. <laughs> Pizza didn't have an arm there. Oh my God, the trees are getting knocked down. All right, let's take care of business here. Oh, geez, I'm getting hurt bad. I didn't expect the drowned guy, Cajun Thunder here, is spitting at me. Oh, because he's... That might have been the guy right there. That was an irradiated ground zombie. Maybe he was just slightly more irradiated than the ones we see out and about, usually. What a mess. Well, the good news is I'm at full health, and there's still some left on the Rad Z. I'm just going to search up these bodies here, especially the Rads. Yeah, military fiber, not... I don't know. Do I need that? Feral cop here, two bones. Feral cop there, murky water. Feral cop over here. Oh yeah, definitely. So I can come in here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Wait, wait. I thought it was fixed there for a second, but we're still having some issues. Oh, look out. Yeah, it says you're getting... Oh my goodness, it's all over the place around here. Okay. Well, I'm gonna run in here and just get a lay of the land. What is that? Is that the radiation source? Okay, can I... What do I do with this? Do I just pickaxe it? It says find it and destroy it. Oh my goodness, that worked. Okay, and this is what we're here for all along are these electronics boxes. There we go. Okay, two into wiring, one into traps. Did that kind of fix it for me? Vault, no, still locked. I don't know what's going on here, why this is not unlocking, but maybe we need to get to like 80. Maybe this is like, um, maybe it's a little bugged there. I'm not sure. I'm going to keep trying though. I can't give up on it. The, the vault doors are kind of instrumental to the function of the base. Ah, crap. We got more radiation here. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. We got to run in here. I don't hear any zombies. Break this apart. That's giving me nuclear material as well. Which is cool. Interesting. I hear zombies. Let's use my radar and figure out. Yeah, they're in the the back over here. Hello, Arlene. There is no wall to the back of the store here, which is weird. Oh, boy. Whoa. There's a rat back here, though. Wow. Get back. I don't need any more radiation. Where are you hiding? Oh, and by the way, we definitely should take a first aid kit now. All right. We'll buy some extra sunset sarsaparilla just to increase my chances of perhaps getting a star bottle cap try to oh there's more radiation up there okay i guess i'll run up here and try to break this one apart Ooh, this one is extra strong let's go with the power attack we gotta knock this thing out come on there we go and we're clear okay so the, but there might be a lot more stuff going on in the back here let's just whoop barrel white yeah, I can hear kind of a lot of commotion. I'm just gonna, yeah, bring them into some more wide open spaces. Oh, you crawling bastards. Get the rad remover out. Oh, not a good time for reloading. Not an even worse time for reloading. Well, I guess we're okay here. Probably should go into combat with all of my guns loaded. You'd think I would have learned that by now. Okay, that's a lot better. Let's continue searching the racks in here and then we'll go clear out the rest of this place. The good news is I've pulled out a healthy amount of magazines out of here, so hopefully we will get what we need. I'm going to kind of wait until we're in a more, less precarious position before I look into that. Right, because people are kind of breaking in from outside now. All right, we're in the home stretch here. Ooh, is that a tier four loot chest down there? I can't really zoom in to see. It definitely is, though. Okay, right, do we have more zombies here, though? Definitely. Okay, more rads. Look at the rads in this place. Is this just... 
how things are now in the wasteland. It's been a while since I went into like a zombie infested place instead of a mutant infested place. Ooh, yeah, I can't wait to get the level five shotgun because I'm feeling the, the lack of knockdown power with this one. Maybe it's just a lack of aim. Definitely got a lot going on here. Let's try to get the main loot. Is there... Yeah, we've got a bunch of these guys up in the rooftop. Yep, and if you think I'm going to listen to that stupid bird, you are wrong. I am going to kill the stupid birds. He's trying to escape. I will not allow it. Ooh. Is there something special up here on the rooftop as well? Uh-oh, I can't. <laughs> I need to finagle away for me to get up here. Here we go. Oh, there is loot on the rooftop here. Where's that bird? There he is. Okay, we're in. That's going to give us... Oh my god, a level 6 laser rifle! What? That is crazy. Oh my god. Oh, what am I looking at over here too? That's... I've seen that before. I don't know what it is, but that is like a radioactive thing. We've destroyed one of those here already, so... Whatever that building is there, that might be similar to the building that we're in right here. It might be like contaminated with radioactive material, making it difficult to kind of get through and get stuff done. Forgot to search the rads here for radiators and looks like some military fiber. Not sure I'm really hurting for any of that. Uh, a treasure map though, I'll definitely take that because that's probably our best ticket to get diamonds for further laser weapon crafting. Okay, we are hurting on time now. We gotta loot and get out of here and get back home. No time to waste. I've been gawking too much at different things and trying to problem solve and it's gonna come back to bite me because the horde is bearing down. There we go. We're into the big loot chest and it's mostly more of the same. Some gold there, which is kind of reassuring. That means maybe I can get diamonds out of main loots too. I've never really paid attention to such a thing. Diamonds are usually just for selling in my opinion. You can always make the diamond tipped blade mod, but I really don't find it to be very useful. So anyway, well, let's get out of here. We're heading straight home. All right, we've made it home. It's five o'clock. We have time to spare, but we need to immediately start making preparations for Horde Night, and that will begin probably with moving the vehicles off site somewhere. Yeah, we'll park over here at Moe's Grocery. I don't think Moe will mind. Okay, first thing I want to do is we're going to change start time on these timer relays to now, basically, 1700. Deposit everything that we looted today away there and just quickly give me the magazines. I'll read those up and see if we make any progress. We did get, wow, a lot of magazines there. We got 10 into wiring. Let's see what that does. That puts us to, oh, tier four steel powered doors. I think there was just, yes, there we go. Okay, we can definitely make these now. Get me two of those immediately. I don't think we have time to set those up tonight though that would be kind of a stretch let's go through all the rest of these that was actually a very fruitful raid there more lead and loot we got five and two weapons of tomorrow that's energy weapon crafting skill i think we're going to be doing good on energy weapons we got that level six laser rifle man that was a sweet find let's get that switched over right now <laughs> disappointing i mean it, that's how it works though i mean it's it never ever fails as soon as you craft something you will find it outside in loot somewhere. So what are we going to roll with for mods this time? I think maybe um, laser sight. That's like firing from the hip. I do that a lot. So probably helpful for me at least. There we go. Ooh, it even looks greener. <laughs> I guess it's the light anyway. Okay, lights are blinking yellow, oddly enough. And this one over here is blue. Okay, this might require a little bit of a refresh here. <laughs> Things are a little strange right now. That's fine. What I really wanted to do was, oh yes, it's probably down here where I do that. Right, we want to spin up all of the traps and how are we powering the ones that are up above? Have we wired those just yet? We have not. Well, let's find some real estate here. Sure, how about that one right there? And we'll get those strung up. I think I can just clamber my way up here and I will not double daisy chain those because that could be disastrous if one blows up. Okay, connect the other one separately. We're just doing a power test right now, basically. Make sure that we can run everything all at the same time. And that needs to now be off the generator. And we're at about two thirds capacity on power output right now. And that's at full tilt. And basically everything can just stay like that until morning. Okay, are we good out here? Grab up some of the water. 
and seal this place up. All right, this is pretty much it. I'm not gonna risk it. We have like two hours until the horde gets here. I'm gonna just, we're gonna roll with the fighting position as it is right now, hope for the best and man, tomorrow or you know later on next week, we'll get the automated vault door system set up. Okay, I'm just about ready. I'm working on ammo crafting upstairs. That's like the one thing that I totally whiffed on. I, we don't have much ammo, not for the weapons that we're currently using. And we also never did the steel upgrades, which is gonna be okay because um, I really only want like a couple things upgraded to steel, like the fighting position, the bars are pretty important. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get out there and probably do the rest of those. So I'm working on some of the cells for the, the laser gun here. I'm working on some slugs for the shotgun, which I think will be useful to have. And otherwise, I'm just bringing like all the guns, plasma pistol, laser pistol, lever action rifle, and all the associated ammo types for that. This, I guess these road stripes are gonna have to do. I can't seemingly really pick them up. <laughs> so, or not, not reliably at least. So yeah, steel for this whole thing here for sure. We don't want that to fall off. We don't want this to break here, but that there should probably hold us for tonight, I think. Yeah, well, this little strip right here should probably also be steel just in case. Oh, and there's one more little bit that needs to be upgraded, and that is the, the whole reason we lost one of our companions before is that one of these floor sections broke out and Ah, oh, crap, who was it? I can't remember. It was Dahl. Indian Dahl fell through the floor into the pit and then quickly died. I mean, it's a death sentence if you fall down there during Horde Night. Oh, there you go. Just leveled up, too. We should get a couple more levels tonight. Well, it's not going to be perfect tonight. It never is when I'm in charge, at least. But this, I think, will do it. Grab up that extra ammo there. Box of slugs, a hundred of those. And we've got some more microfusion cells rolling in. Let's just... Go ahead with a couple more boxes of slugs. Sure, let's get those crafted. And if we need some more ammo, we will jump up here and grab it. Everything's spinning, the lights are on. I think we're as ready as we're ever going to be. Well, my friends, the day 40 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Okay, I'd say things are going really well here so far. Just checking the repair status on that front set of bars there, looking good. I've already repaired the blade traps once. They seem to be doing a lot of good to us. So I promised we would use the railway spikes at some point, and I think it's time. Whoa, that, that, oh, we've lost a blade trap already. Yeah, a cop spit just completely wiped it out. I don't know what's going on with the rail spikes. I don't think I like it though. Let's go back over to some real guns here. I'm halfway saving my good guns for more dire circumstances than what we have going on right now. It's not looking too bad. I think we're, we're managing okay so far. Yep, the other blade trap has been lost. That whole idea is done for basically. Those things just, they, they basically just broke right off the base. I think cops spit probably busted them. Speaking of cops, I feel like we have a really lot of cops here and some of them are exploding. I don't really know what's going on right now. It's bad. There's gonna be a bit of a mess to clean up after this one, I think. All right, let's do a status check on the pit down there. Looking, you know, there's a lot of dead bodies down there. Let's uh try to ricochet a couple of grenades down there and 
see if we can kind of loosen things up, burn some of the bodies away. Okay, probably not as chaotic as the last Horde Knight. And a little bit quieter, because we've we've only got the one companion with us, the one Brotherhood member. Speaking of Brotherhood, I wonder how the Radcats are faring. They don't look like they have a very strong base over there, but they seem to do well enough. Okay, we have the... We have, like, regular dogs here that I can see, but we also have, like, the, the mutant dogs as well. And we have... Yeah, zombies... Like, this situation here should be perfect. Oh, almost. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking I could come over here and get a better angle on them, but it's not perfect. The big fat ones, not so bad. Like, little Arlene, I can't really see her. Yeah, we got the mutant dogs up front here. Still haven't seen if the, the electric fence wire is working. We'll have to wait until we lose that front bar. I'm not gonna chance it, though. I'm repairing that front bar. Just caught it in time before it broke. And I think the slugs, the slugs have been what we've been looking for here all along. Look, I can hit, like, at least two zombies at a time per shot. And once I level up the penetrator, I think it's time to do that, actually. We should do that after the horde. Once we level up the penetrator, we'll be hitting like four or five zombies per slug. Okay, so far I have not heard a single bird. I haven't heard anything happening to the blade traps and I just cleared the corridor. Yeah, things are looking real clean up here. Let's grab, yes, more boxes of slugs. Perfect timing on that. What else are we working on? Yeah, we're working on some of the laser rifle uh, energy things. Here we go. Whatever this is taking, we've been working on it. So let's let off a couple of these rounds too. Yeah, this is great. Um, if only we could get some better magazine capacity with this high rate of fire like it has, we spend half of our time reloading basically. So I'm not sure that the, the high fire rate <laughs> helps us as much as it hurts us, you know? Oh, and then great news here. The bodies that are in the front, you search them, they go away. So I can clean things up up here finally. Kind of nice to see. How are these guys able to stack up so much, like, side by side? By the way, look at the compass. Man, that radar's working, isn't it? Yeah, I don't... I mean, this is nice in the day-to-day, -day, but in the Horde Night, look, it's like, shoot, reload, shoot, reload. I'd like to be able to shoot a little bit more than reload, though. Well, in that case, back to the shotgun. And a little bit of cleanup here so I can hit whoever's laying back there. Party girl zombie. Oh, did you see that? That was like one slug, I feel like, is killing two or three zombies to a clip. Nice. Yeah. Look at this. This is working good. Yeah, this is a slug base for sure. I thought this was going to be a rifle base, but no, 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 no. Shotgun slugs are the way to go. Okay, repair check. Whoop, we never actually even uh, upgraded that block there. So that's done. And yeah, repairs are looking fine. I think we're, we're doing pretty good. We're halfway through the horde. I don't know what things are looking like outside, but inside where I'm standing right here, things are looking fine. Ammo. Ammo is a bit of an issue. Let's try to go into the explosives a little bit more. Oh yeah, see they're doing some damage down there. It's the crawlers. The crawlers don't know what they're doing, man. Making a mess. Well, so am I, I guess. Yeah, there's just zombies all over the place here today. I, I need to put probably put some blade traps on the ground down there eventually. I mean, it's not like it's a huge commitment in terms of resources, but... Might help us do some damage to the crawlers, which I think are just... I don't know that the crawlers know how to get up here. Because, I mean, you got the crawlers like these guys right here, the zombie soldier, the lumberjack. This is like a crawler base. It makes everybody crawl, right? But then you've got, like, your commando crawlers, like Big Mama there, who's behind this lumberjack. She's, like, crawling on her belly. We call that the commando crawl. And um, those ones, <laughs> they have a hard time. I mean... No doubt they're having a real hard time in life anyway. They're a zombie and they can't walk. And I'm kind of starting to hear that there's a also a dog problem down here. And oh, I can see it on the radar. So, all right, we got an impromptu grenade shoot here. That took care of everything. Nice. Well, I'll throw the other one out there. Okay, the pit is looking a little bit rough, but I think everyone can still get out. Let's just continue with the grenades. That seems to be working well. I've even got other types of grenades here. We've got some cryo grenades we can try out. Test. Whoop, that did not go where I intended, but it seemed to work nonetheless. Whoops, shotgun's broken. That would be, that is not good news right there. We need to get up in here and yeah, things are a little bit choppy right now because we've got a lot of zombies around here. Where are the shotgun parts? Here they are. And good, repair that. It's probably going to take a while. We'll go over to other weapons in the meantime. Pretty sure that occasionally my laser rifle sets zombies on fire, <laughs> which is kind of cool. 
Could potentially also have some implications, though, if you're in a wooden building. Kind of lighten stuff on fire a little bit. Yeah, I was thinking I was going to need a lot more ammo for this, but I have to reload so much that I'm really not able to burn through the ammo at a fast enough rate. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to do good here. It's 2 a.m. We're almost done with this. I think I hear a demo here, though. At least I heard something sounding like a lot like a demo. Let's just get the slugs back out now. Because if there are demos here, we definitely need to focus on killing them. That is the one kryptonite for basically any base, but especially something this kind of tight-knit close quarters. They, uh, one demo could do a real number on us up here. Okay, we, um, we have a huge problem here. The zombies have destroyed their mechanism for getting out of the pit, and therefore they are making a real mess in the pit. I mean... Better in the pit than anywhere else. Have a cryo grenade while you're at it. But that does present a pretty significant and unforeseen problem. I don't quite know how we go about fixing this. And I was just saying that we're fine because ideally what I want to do is switch him over here, but I can't switch him off from here yet. Mm. Yeah, this is rough. I'm going to have to just wait until they claw their own way out, basically. They're going to do some damage, but... It's just the pit, no big deal. Could become an issue though, if they start blowing up and stuff next to some support columns. There's like a gigantic scorpion down there. What, where did that guy come from? Okay, yes, we definitely, I just actually shot the front rail there with a slug and destroyed it. So we're at the Alamo here, but also this is probably the most well-defended portion of the position here too. Yeah, oh, did we lose, we lost power somehow. Oh, is the generator out of fuel? Because I do believe, yeah, I checked that earlier and that was low on fuel and I forgot to refuel it. Refuel, turn back on, get back to work. And I will continue working the best I can on the zombies that are stuck in the pit there. Just, you know, lob a cryo grenade down there for them. Come over here with, who do we have with us? King of the Zeds. King of the Zeds, can you focus on the giant rad scorpion there? There we go, I got him, don't worry about it. Okay, the pit situation it, i'm not gonna lie it's pretty bad right now i made a pretty bad mistake there in not i upgraded the, the whole other pit is concrete this pit over here is just cobblestone and i'm really paying for it now or i'm gonna pay for it tomorrow when i have to do all the repairs here i'm just looking for some angle that i can use to get a nuke a grenade down there on top of them i think that did it Oh, that did something. It set a demo off. That's fantastic. Okay, no more nuke of freaking grenades. That portions of the base collapsed after that. Yeah, look at this mess up here. We, oh my goodness, look out. Oh, thanks. King of the Zeds got a shot off on that guy before he uh, did anything. And, uh, oh man, if, if I could, if I could just like destroy that block right there, that's never going to happen, is it? Oh, uh, kind of close, actually. <laughs> it would take a while, that's for sure. I want to switch him off of this side, but that doesn't do anything for the heap of zombies that are down there. Although now I can kind of get a better angle on them with the pipes, the, the, the explosives. Another demo going off. Oh my god, what a mess that's going to be. All right, it is morning. We've survived the Horde Knight. The base is still standing. It's It has some issues, maybe a little bit, but yeah, we have big, big problems here with this massive host of zombies stuck down here. Well, start laying into them with the explosives then. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know what happened there, but that was critically not good. I'm also, no, I'm not radiated, but I definitely need a first aid kit. Ow, none of that, please. I have some berserk. I'm gonna take some berserk here and hopefully that'll help me. That gives me like plus 25% damage, I think. Should help with the cleanup here. We're gonna have to be careful with the guns because we don't want to call in a screamer on top of all of this that we already have here. Oh my, what a horrible disaster this has turned into. Oh, that, that pipe on there is going to do some real damage. And we have... I don't know what this is. I'm going to use it though. Whoa, that's a contact grenade or something. Yikes. My poor eyebrows. What do we have now? We have a couple more grenades. This could help. I know we're trying not to do screamers, but we're also trying to kill stupid zombies. Get back! All right, one for that cluster. One for that cluster. Just keep throwing them. Oh my God, what am I gonna do with this massive problem here? Oh boy, wish I had some Molotovs. 
I guess we gotta shoot him. Making slow progress, but steady progress at that. If I could just get the runners out of here, I probably could just jump down in there and get all the crawlers with melee. Yep, and we just lost, um... I think the timer relays probably went off there a little bit. Oh, the rads. Can't do much damage to these rads. There we go. Oh, man. I'm gonna need to make... I think we're gonna have to deepen the pits. We'll just call this like some preliminary excavation work to make the pit a little bit deeper. Maybe, maybe two blocks deeper? Yeah, yeah, we'll get this all fixed up. No problem, slight problem. You know, <laughs> on the resource front and stuff like that. But I think, yeah, we'll be fine, we'll make it. In fact, I don't even know if I have a way out of here. Get me a ladder piece to go out, up and out. There we go, oh my God. I can finally declare victory. The horde base held. There are some refinements and serious upgrades to make for the next run. And I think the blade trap thing was kind of a bust. But I mean, it's a day 40 horde in the wasteland and we're like level 67 right now. So all in all, I'd say this is about as good as I could expect on a base like this. Anyway, I'm gonna start getting this mess all cleaned up and we'll pick things up a little bit later on this morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.